Welcome to the quick start video guide to your new apnea track. We will start with charging your device. Your device comes with a rechargeable lithium ion battery. Looking at the front of your apnea track, on the right side, you will find a USB-C port for charging and downloading data for the device. Before using the device for the first time, we recommend charging the device for five hours. Typical charge time from 0% battery is about four and a half hours but five hours for first time will allow the device to better gauge the battery life. A typical charge time after a single night study is about 45 minutes. To charge your device, connect the device to the computer using the USB-C to USB-A cable provided with your apnea track. Let's get to know your apnea track. Looking at the front of your device, you will see the battery LED lights when the device is charging. The top left corner is the lower lock for your nasal cannula. Across the bottom of the device is a cover. Your device comes with two covers. One cover has a raised arrow that can be removed by pressing down on the arrow and pulled away from the device. The second is a locking cover and is difficult to remove by hand, but discourages patients from altering connections to the device when taking it home. To eject the locking cover, use the removable cover and press the tab into the slot on the front of the apnea track. On the back of the device, you will find a belt clip for mounting the device to a respiratory effort belt. Both covers and the belt clip can be replaced if lost or broken. At the top of the belt clip is a small hole. For troubleshooting purposes, a paper clip can be used to reset the device. Just below the USB-C charging port, you will find a strain relief hook. When connecting your oximeter to the device, you can press the cable into the hook to help prevent the oximeter from pulling out of the device during a study. On the top, centered on the device, is an event button. The button can be used to check the status of the device, start a recording, or place an event during the recording. Pressing the button at any time will cause all configured recording channels to illuminate for 10 seconds. Pressing the button again while illuminated will extend the light for another 10 seconds. You can also see the state of the device when the button is pressed. If the device is in manual start mode, no indicator will be present between the battery LEDs and red dot. When the device is configured for a delayed start recording, the letters REC will slowly flash between the battery LEDs and the red dot. After the recording has started, this indicator will illuminate solidly if the button is pressed. During the recording, this will also place a patient event in the study visible during review of the record. Pressing and holding the button for three seconds will start the LED walkthrough or signal check if the option has been enabled in the software. If the device is in the manual start mode, this will also start a recording. The signal check can be accessed at any time before or during a recording regardless of mode. The lights for the different signals use anatomical images to help indicate what the connectors are for. The inputs on the device are color-coded to match the connectors for each sensor type. Before you can use your device, install Easy 3 version 4.3 or later. For help installing the software, please see the Easy 3 installation upgrade instructions. There are several ways to launch the Apnea Track program. When you first connect a device, if the device does not contain data, the Initialize Apnea Track dashboard will open automatically. If the device has data, the Apnea Track status window will open. To open the application when the device has already been connected to the computer, you can double click the Apnea Track icon on your desktop or double click the Apnea Track icon in your system tray. This will open a jump menu, giving you access to all the Apnea Track control screens. You can also right click on the Apnea Track icon in the system tray for direct access to the Initialize, Review, Status, Clear, or Settings menus. Open the Initialize Apnea Track recording window. Across the top are three tabs, New Patient, Select Patient, and Scheduled Patients. The New Patient tab will allow you to manually input the appropriate patient information for initializing your device. Required fields are highlighted in red. The Select Patient tab allows you to select a patient that is already in your EZ3 database. 
The Scheduled Patients tab will allow you to select a patient from an order sent to your EZ3 application via HL7 or the EZ3 scheduler. The Select Recording Device pane will show all connected apnea tracks. Each apnea track will display by serial number, battery charge, if the device contains data, and patient name if it has been initialized for recording. The anatomical LEDs will illuminate on the device when it is selected from the list. Once you have selected a device, you can use the Recording Settings section to configure the device. First, select the duration of the recording. This can be set to record for 8, 10, or 12 hours. The default can be configured in the Apnea Track Settings menu. Unlike other devices, on the Apnea Track, once the recording has begun, the study cannot be interrupted unless the device is connected to a computer with Apnea Track software installed. If you are using a legacy device, the recording mode will allow you to select legacy or core to determine how many channels will be recording during testing. If you are using a core device, this field is not selectable. The device can be configured for manual or delayed start. If manual start is selected, that will mean the patient will need to hold the button for three seconds or until they see the REC indicator illuminate in order to start the recording. Delayed start allows you to configure the time the device will start the recording. In this mode, the device cannot be started by using the button until after the recording has been completed. You can use the arrows or type into the field to set the time to start the recording. The device can be configured to start for multiple nights with the device starting at the same time each night. The device can also be configured to begin recording several days from initialization. Once you have finished configuring the device, click Initialize Apnea Track. If you have not configured your protocols in the Apnea Track setting menu, then you may see the settings menu pop up asking you to select these items. The lights on the selected device will flash and you will see a confirmation message indicating the device has been initialized successfully. The confirmation message includes the device serial number and patient information. The device is now ready for use and can be disconnected. Once the device has been returned, connect the device to the computer to begin download. The Apnea Track status window will automatically open. The study will begin downloading, converting, and analyzing. During the process, the Data Integrity Report button will activate. Clicking this button will open the Data Integrity Report window, giving a summary of the amount of data present during the recording. After the data has been successfully downloaded from the device, the device will begin a full clear of the memory. Once it has been completed, you will receive a confirmation window. The downloaded data has first been checked, page by page, to verify all data is present. The data is not retrievable after the device has been cleared. This keeps the memory on the device healthy and more HIPAA secure. After analysis is completed, the default report and open record buttons will activate. Clicking default report will run the report designated in the Apnea Track settings menu without opening the study. Clicking open record will launch EZ3 and open the recording for review and or scoring. You will be able to place markers for lights out and lights on to account for the time the patient wore the device, and you will be able to see all instances in which the patient pressed the event button. You will also be able to score new events and edit events already in the record. All downloaded records will also be visible on the main EZ3 review window. They appear as Type 3 PSG study types. Scoring your apnea track study is just like scoring any other EZ3 PSG studies. Respiratory channels can be configured for any respiratory type event and can be marked by dragging and dropping.
Open the Apnea Track Settings menu. The first three fields are protocol selection. These configure how the studies appear when opened in EZ3. For new installation, select Apnea Track Core for the core protocol, Apnea Track for the legacy protocol, and Apnea Track TST for the TST protocol. For older EZ3 installations, if your system does not have these protocols, you may need to contact CADWELL application support for assistance adding these to your system. The default report will allow you to specify which report is run when clicking the default report button from your apnea track status window. The default recording duration will determine which duration is selected when you first open the initialize apnea track recording window. Required study duration will determine when the data integrity report will flag a record as having too little data. Enable LED walkthrough will determine if the device will conduct a signal check when held for three seconds or more. Auto analyze study after conversion will enable or disable analysis of apnea track studies. This option should only be used by CADWELL support for troubleshooting purposes. Auto launch on Windows login will determine if apnea track will start with your computer. Disabling this will mean after each reboot, the computer will not be able to automatically detect an apnea track device until the apnea track application has been launched. The clear recorders menu will show you all connected apnea tracks and allow you to clear initialization or data from the device. If you ran a test recording or initialized for the wrong patient, this window will allow you to clear the device so it is ready for the next initialization. If you run a study without using the Initialize Apnea Track dashboard, EZ3 will prompt you if you want to add a patient information to the data. If you click No when connecting a device without patient information, you will be taken to the Clear Recorder menu so that you may manually clear the device. Clicking Yes will take you to the Initialize Apnea Track dashboard where you will enter the patient information and click Initialize Apnea Track. You will then see a message to disconnect the device and reconnect it to download the data under the newly configured patient information. For additional information, you can review the Apnea Track user guide or see the Apnea Track sections of the EZ3 help file.